Good morning, Mayuri. Thank you for joining you for interview today. How are you doing today? Yeah, sure. Good morning. I'm doing good. Uh, what about you? I'm also doing great. Thank you for asking. So, Mayuri, can you please talk about the project that you have worked in your previous organization? Yeah, for sure. Uh, thanks for giving me the chance uh, to talk about on my project. So, uh, my uh, previous project was related to the Alexa revised data testing, uh, which I had done in my uh, uh, like previous company, uh, Amazon Development Center. So basically, uh, I was uh, getting the data from the various queues like smart home queues, knowledge queues, entertainment queues. So uh, for the initially seven months, I work as an Alexa data associate, basically. And uh, there, uh, my work was to test this data and uh, ensure that the quality of the Alexa commands I am getting will be improved so that the user will be satisfied. Uh, and uh, after that, as I was preparing for the manual testing, so I got hired through that uh, manual testing position, uh, which they recruited uh, many candidates. And then uh, I was basically checking the Alexa software interface, where I was doing manual along with the ad automation testing uh, of the commands and also the uh, data-driven uh, interfaces uh, where I was basically involved in the uh, functional testing and non-functional te testing also. So here we follow agile methodology and uh, for the defect tracking we use Jira tool and for writing test cases we use Zapier here and uh, we were involved in the, all the agile ceremonies that is scrum, sprint planning meeting, retrospective and also that's all about my project huh? that's awesome so <clears throat> right so if i have to ask you that what are your day-to-day -day activities once you log in so how will you describe that okay so uh once i log in in my uh, office so uh, firstly i'll check uh, whatever the mails i'm getting in my office email so then I uh, then uh, I'll be the part of the Scrum meeting. That is the stand-up meeting, which uh, is taken by the Scrum master along with the development and testing team. And also, uh, we uh, I'll get a chance to clarify the doubts that what we have did since yesterday. What are our plannings and what were the blockers that we have faced? So everything uh, we uh, we wanted to discuss here. So after that, uh, then there will be sprint planning meeting before every sprint starts. So sprint uh, uh, was 10 days in our organization, the duration. So uh, basically, uh, the, uh, like the user stories that product owner was assigned to us. Uh, so uh, there will be the estimation that how many testers are there, uh, like the capacity and the velocity of team, how much... Uh, uh, like how much efficient they are. Accordingly, there will be a uh, uh, estimation uh, by adding the uh, like by assigning the story points to the you uh, to, to the task. And uh, after selecting the particular user story for the current sprint or the upcoming sprint is coming. So uh, as a tester, we were basically creating test cases task and executing that task. So before execution, the, that uh, test cases will be mapping with the requirements uh, by our senior members. And after that, uh, the complete execution, we were getting the result that which test case, cases are passed and which test cases are failed. So accordingly, uh, the uh, for the failed test cases, we were using, uh, uh, like we were checking the three times. So why that test cases is fail or what are the particular defects we were getting. So there was a root cause analysis among the team that why this defect is produced. And after that, uh, we were, uh, after uh, that, uh, getting the uh, complete confirmation from the team that the particular defect is valid. So we were log logging the defect that, that was assigned to the developer. And uh, then developer, uh, uh, developer would solving that defect. And after that, uh, after solving that defect, 
there was a uh, one meeting called uh, uh, clarification of the team whatever the doubts and whatever the defects we lost there was a team uh, there was a meeting and after that uh, uh, at the end of the sprint there was a sprint review meeting like that how that sprint went well and uh, at the end uh, like uh, after uh, like uh, each and every uh, members completed their work there was a retrospective meeting in which we were expected to tell what went well what did not uh, go wrong and what are the improvements that that we have to make from the last mistakes we had done so uh, basically uh, before the deployment uh, of the software that goes to the production there there was uh, this type of meetings and uh, all the discussion were going so that the customer should not face any type of issue when they are using the software so this was uh, this was my process or my team's process basically we had in a organization okay so uh, why are you looking for a change at this moment okay so uh, actually uh, i have spent 2.9 years in my previous organization so uh, i'm basically uh, looking uh, to upgrade myself uh with the current trends and the technologies that are coming in the market uh though i have learned lot many things i have learned many uh corporate uh, as well as technical things in my previous organization organization but but there is always expected to some change to uh to be there uh, to upgrade uh, with the latest technologies so i thought to uh, i thought to have a chance uh like to uh, to change myself uh, uh, in a interpersonal communication and also with the technical skills so i thought uh, to uh, apply in the industries wherever i get a wherever i get a chance to showcase myself and uh, uh, along with the new skills that i'm learning okay if i have to talk about criticisms that you uh, receive as a feedback for any of your work that you do how do you normally handle criticism when you receive it um like uh, whatever uh, criticism i'll get uh, in the uh, industry so i think uh, that is common like uh, somewhere uh, maybe we, uh, we might feel that issue uh, uh, like we were uh, getting the least uh, what we say uh, the least um, um means we are not valued at our work but our other colleagues or the other team members they are valued means they are getting the recognition like mm-hmm. what they are doing but uh, sometimes uh, uh, like we we might fe- feel disappointed but we should not be uh, very much depressed because of it like uh, we will also get a chance to in, uh, like uh, to show our value to show our effort that we are doing so i think uh, this is uh, something we should not be uh, very uh, sad or we should not feel very uh, demoralized at that time we can take it as a challenge and we can prove ourselves by getting uh, the chances uh, in the industry or wherever we are getting the chance to prove ourselves so what is for you is an ideal work culture would be so uh, ideal work culture uh, according to me is something where my managers my team members my colleagues or all, uh, all are helping in nature they are very cooperative so whenever uh, we are getting very stressed or uh, we are uh, uh, stuck in somewhere maybe it's a technical or uh, any behavioral issue so they should help us always and uh in the technical thing also if we are stuck or, or we are not getting the proper output so uh, there should be always the helping hand and uh, there should be a smooth communication between the team for the smooth flow of the project and uh, also uh, according to me uh, where there should be a freedom some kind of freedom uh, that should be given to employees Uh, i know there is a, a, 
like in some industry there is a strict environment and the target based job uh, that uh, all uh, all should have to get the uh, proper pro uh, to get the profit or to get the uh, proper input from the client but uh, along with that there should be uh, some type of uh, happiness joy or the team outing or the some kind of change like from the day to day work that should be uh, if uh, if it is there then that will be a good culture and the ideal uh, work culture for me okay so uh, what is that one thing if i have to ask you that you don't like about your previous role what will you say so uh, there was no such thing uh, which i didn't like in my previous organization everything was good and uh, everyone was helpful the work was very interesting and challenging every day we had to do uh, many type of uh, task that are new to every day and uh, the managers were cooperative so everything was uh, going smooth so no like there was no anything that i didn't like okay and what were your starting and final levels of compensation that you were getting in your previous organization um uh, you mean to say the hike yeah from what, what was the package that you got initially and how, means how much you are getting at the moment Okay, so initially, uh, uh, like I got the package of two point three lakhs, and then uh, I got increment of two point five, two point five lakhs. Then uh, after two point seven eight lakhs, like that, there was a constant increment, and uh, that was all depend on the manager's feedback and the performance and all. What type of ratings were you used to get in your previous organization? During the annual appraisals. Okay, so uh, ratings uh, uh, like it was not uh, uh, ratings. They didn't give us. They just uh, uh, gave us the percentage hike in a formal letter and the discussion uh, which we had in one on ones. Mm -hmm. Like uh, your performance uh, was like uh, uh, it's. it's not too much excellent but it's not too much uh, uh, below average also so i was uh, above uh, above the middle uh, like middle above the average person so it was like uh, so the 8% uh, was given to the person who are above average so they were constantly giving me that and he said your performance is good but there is some Uh, something or some areas that you have to improve the reason for asking this question is to judge you that what all things do you normally do to ensure that your performance improves every year if you are getting a flat increment of 6 or 7% every year so that means you are not going an extra mile to ensure that your performance improves or you get a good rating so uh, as you mentioned 2.9 years of experience you have but the yes. percentage hike i can check that it's almost the same yes so don't you think that you have not worked enough on yourself to ensure a better performance the next year or how how will you manage to do it if you get selected in my company yeah actually uh, what happened in my previous organization there were uh, two factors to quality and velocity and that, that was a target based job in my uh, in my the so in the first uh, thing as a alexa data associate so in the seven months uh, we were giving the targets of uh, 96% and 95% of quality velocity and quality so uh, in that i was con consistently meeting the quality above 96% but the velocity uh, was like something flexible like somewhere it was uh, up to 90 somewhere uh, above 90 and uh, somewhere like below 89 something was like that so uh, because we had to process data after thinking logically means it it the quality should not go uh, with the uh, meeting constant velocity we had to do this on the day, uh, day to day basis mm -hmm. but uh, sometimes like as we had to think more so sometimes speed might slower 
Okay. So they yeah. So they were constantly uh, telling us about increasing increasing the velocity and all, and the quality is fine. Like every day you are meeting, so it's excellent. They said. But somewhere it was like uh, uh, meeting, uh, not meeting one parameter may cause uh, your hindrance to the growth. So they mm -hmm. and after that uh, I used to improve that. So I was constantly meeting velocity and quality about ninety percent. So it was like uh, improvement for me. But, okay. Yeah. But uh, after that, uh, like when I uh, moved to the. Uh, the manual and automation tester, I was having the con consistently quality above ninety six percent. Where I was writing the test cases, I got uh, uh, executing test cases, and I got lot of appreciation that. So uh, because of the last mistake I did in my uh, previous work that I did for seven months, I got to learn so many things, and uh, I had a chance to improve myself in a uh, next thing I'm doing. So I'll uh, take that mistakes. I'll keep it, keep that mistakes as my uh, learning thing and I'll do uh, great in whatever uh, job or the whatever opportunities I'm getting. Awesome. All right, so I'm done with the HR round. Uh, Govind sir will take over the technical round. If you want to have a glass of water in between, you can have. <laughs>